I think history is really important. I always make this argument that artistic practice is a form of research, that artists are researchers the way a company would have an R&D department. My name is Zach Lieberman. I'm an artist and an educator based in New York City. One way of looking at it is this frustrating feeling like, oh, all this great work has already been done before. But the other, uh, if you flip that, the way to think about it is, there's all this work that I can make work in response to, that it's actually my job or my responsibility to take those ideas and bring them forward with what's happening around me, with the tools around me, with the culture around me. And that, that's one reason why with students, I want them to engage with history so they feel like it's their responsibility to, that, that it's a license, that it's a license to, to work with history and not feel like, okay, everything's been done before, there's no space for me, but actually my job is to respond to history and bring it forward. As an artist, as a designer, it's hard to know what your value is. And especially if you're like a freelancer or not working in a company, a company you understand your value because you get paid a certain amount and you get a raise or you get a review or whatever. But w working independently, it's quite hard to know what you do of the value of what you do. And I think the best way to know that is to sur surround yourself with people who help you understand your value. I publish, so I pu publish on Instagram, I, have a, um, I discovered Instagram like eight, eight years after everybody, or I don't know how long it's been around, but like, you know, I'm super late to it. But when I came to Instagram, it had video, it had support for video. And it was a really perfect medium for me to kind of design. And at that time it was just 15 seconds long, which is a beautiful length for a sort of short animation. Now it's a minute, but it, it was this, amazing platform for making very tiny vignettes, very tiny sketches of motion and, and putting them out there and seeing what people you know, see and think about them. And, and that process has been really, like those sketches have become artworks, they've become larger projects that I've made, they're testing grounds for ideas and also almost like, not like a workout for creativity, but something that gets like, they'd feel like anti-work. Like I do them, when I'm working on a project, I'll take a break and I'll make a sketch because it's actually relaxing. It's like, uh, like making without thinking in a way. And, and I feel like that the more people can Im incorporate that kind of, and maybe it doesn't have to be you doing something once a day, but just, the, just trying to keep the joy of making things in, in what you do and, and having that be part of your daily process, I think has been, that's been really helpful.